Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Society of the Snow. This is a movie that a lot of you guys have recommended. This is also made by the same director that made The Impossible, which we watched a few weeks back. It's J.A. Bayona and he did a phenomenal job with The Impossible. It's a film that was both impactful and gut-wrenching and it truly just tugged at our heartstrings and it was a hard watch, but at the same time wholesome and it, it was just such a phenomenal experience. Yeah, I mean, I don't think either of us were prepared for how emotional it was going to be. Be, like we expected it to be emotional but yeah. not 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 to this degree and one of the things we also really appreciate about it was that it at no point did it ever feel gratuitous mm. or like they were you know trying to take advantage of a situation it really felt very honest and uh, very respectful of you know all of the people that went through that so you know that's always really exciting when there's a survival type story that is um, based on real life events yeah and uh, very much like the impossible this one is also based on true life events we're not completely familiar with the story we know more of the broader strokes but we're also mm -hmm. not like experts in the matter so we really don't know how this is going to end which makes it all that more nerve-wracking going into this <laughs> especially after seeing the impossible quite recently we we know that whenever there's that emotional weight he's able mm -hmm. to always pull that through and like you said he has this wonderful balance where he doesn't over dramatize things either so yeah very excited to see this guys if you want to watch the full length reaction that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to watch these reactions a bit early just hit the join button and become a youtube member thank you guys so much for all the support we hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie J Bayona. Bayona let's go man Spanish and proud. El 13 de octubre de 1972, un avión uruguayo se estrelló en la cordillera de los Andes. Unos dicen que fue una tragedia, otros hablan de un milagro. Hmm. Interesting perspective, right? ¿Qué pasa cuando el mundo te abandona? Cuando no tenés ropa y te estás congelando. Oh, Jesus, man. man. Cuando no tenés comida y te estás muriendo. La respuesta está en la montaña. Wow. What a fantastic opening already. That's a fantastic intro. What happens when the world deserts you? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, shoot. No. Get it, man. This is great. I love how this is shot. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this. <laughs> He's not trying to pass the ball. Ah, oh, no. 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 I just love how visceral his visual language is. Yeah. You always feel like you're there. Pancho, but no es solo por los exámenes. A mí el rugby no me importa. No entiendo. El rugby lo de menos. Acá tengo la lista con todos los teléfonos de las minas que conocimos allá. Oh, damn. All them girlies. Mina. Beatriz. Asesina. Lilia es preciosa, Gastón. Dejate de joder. Lilia te dejó hecho paté llorando por toda la calle de Montevideo. No. I love how they're building the chemistry here too. Yeah. They feel like friends, close friends. Por favor, te lo pido. No me van a convencer con esto, Pancho. What? The girls won't convince you? <laughs> vas a ser el mejor abogado de todo Montevideo y vamos a estar orgullosos de vos. Pero vas a hacer tu vida y yo la mía. ¿Te pusiste a pensar que este puede ser el último viaje que podemos hacer juntos? Aww. Aww, look at those puppy dog eyes. Man, this is going to be horrible. I know. What a last trip. <laughs> Oh. Normally I'd be like, yeah, man, go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I know where this is all heading. So it's such a conflicting feeling because you're like, yeah, like go be, the, be with your friends. Go but then you're like, time. actually, <laughs> have a fun time. Iniciando este fin de semana largo de cuatro días con previsión de sol y clima templado para que la pasen muy, muy bien. Yeah, it's a long weekend. People are going to have fun. Mm hmm. I love the aesthetic too, the 70s aesthetic. The color grading of it. I just love the visual choices in this, the framing. The costume design too. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking sharp. <laughs> I love that look. The fashion that time, it's great. Oh no, no. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. It's a wow. I hurt the silence. <sighs> Don't do this to me, man. <laughs> oh. Me llamo Numa Turcati. Tengo 24 años. Para algunos de ellos, este es el primer viaje lejos de su hogar. This is so dreadful. I'm just feeling myself fill up with dread yeah. right now. And the score just really drives home the loss, right? That I'm assuming they're all going to face. The terror. Wow. I mean, it's a beautiful sight. Uh, it's nature, right? Beautiful, but formidable. Oh, no. ¿De verdad que se quiere chupar a cada uno que intenta pasar por arriba? Sí. Los vientos cálidos del campo argentino chocan contra el viento frío de la montaña y genera un efecto de succión. Oh. Now they're going to explain exactly how it went down. Lo cruzamos y ya en Chile miramos hacia el norte en Curicó. Oh, I see. Autorizando en Santiago. Damn, so they're they're actually very close to their oh. destination. I'm already a nervous flyer, so all these films they don't they don't help, you know, they <laughs> no. really don't. It's like you know the logic of things, right? Turbulence, it's it's um it's like statistically almost an impossibility for your plane to crash due to turbulence, but still, man. It's just the fact of putting your life in somebody else's hands. Yeah. You know, and having no control over what's going on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's the funny guy in the group, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think he's gonna regret his choice of words. <laughs> I know. I'm like, please don't, please don't say that. I'm loving how they're building the tension Dude, here. Dude, I like my palms are like sweating right now. My everything is sweating. <laughs> I am so nervous. I felt that in my I stomach. I just felt, yo, Fax, I felt that. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, oh they're so oh, close. Oh, shit. Oh my god. No, the pilots are also yeah. freaking out. Ah, oh, oh, you can God. barely see anything, too. Oh no, oh no. That's too fucking close. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my oh goodness! My god. <sighs> this is terrifying. Oh! 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 Shit! 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 Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this was fucking horrible. This was horrible. Oh my god. Guys, I have like palpitations. This was horrible. That has to be one of the realest airplane crash sequences I've seen, man. My heart is like... Dude, my heart is racing right now. I just got an insane adrenaline spike. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Oh! Whoa. So disorienting. Yeah. <laughs> like a plane crash is bad enough, but the fact that all the seats started being shoved into each other. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and the fact that it's super cold out there, they're already <laughs> feeling it. Estudio medicina. Soy Roberto. ¿Cómo te llamas? Alvaro. 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 Ah. Fuck, man. This is horrible. 
All that sharp metal too from the the seats moving. <sighs> they gotta be careful. Nada, una luz. Es necesario que me digas cómo funciona la radio. Qué aprieto. Oh man. Hola, Curico. ¿Qué es Curico? Repetí, no te entiendo. He's in rough shape. Que Dios nos acompañe. Yeah, that's it. That's all you can do, right? All, yeah. You can only wish them luck and to be protected. Oh my god, and it's exposed, like all that cold air. <sighs> In the span of minutes, dude. Yeah, if it's not, <laughs> the plane crash is definitely going to be hypothermia. <laughs> that is, oh my god, this is such a hard watch already. Uh, yeah. They gotta stay warm. Oh my god. No. no. Damn, this is heavy, man. It, it's not just the, the physical pain that you're enduring from the cold, the injuries, but it's also the knowledge that you're in the middle of nowhere. The stress? I, I can't even begin to imagine it. Like, how do you get out of a situation like this? Yeah, how do you cope with this? I think your survival <laughs> instinct just spikes up and you just stay focused yeah. on surviving. Yeah. On getting out of there. I think all that comes later. Once you're in the safe space, that's when yeah. the weight of what just happened really hits you. Well, that's the thing, right? Everyone copes with these extreme situations differently some freeze and some oh my god bro they're in the Look middle of this. nowhere what do you even do they have to figure oh. out a way to make that radio work that's the only tool they have right now yeah Gaston salió volando cuando se partió la cola también estaba mi primo Daniel oh man oh my god is there a possibility they might be somewhere out there too hay que priorizar a los que están heridos Wow. Smart guys, man. Making sure they keep their, their liquids, their food, people yeah. warm, treating the wounded however they can, how, however they, they can help these people, right? 40 years old, in their 40s and 50s, 24. Oh my god. Wow. Jeez. Those kids were young, man. Yeah, they were young. Oh man, he's so good at just making you feel the, the full weight <laughs> yeah. of an event. It's all the tumultuous feelings, <laughs> right? <laughs> at least they have something to eat. Who knows how long that's mm. gonna last, I mean. For a trip that short, I don't think they would have brought that much food. No, I mean... A few snacks, maybe, that's it. You probably would have just brought something, like, to whoever you're visiting, right? Is that another plane? Oh, no. I have a really bad feeling about this. The thing is, night is always approaching, so I'm imagining they must be so scared of the night. Yeah, every single day, you know, you have to survive one more night yeah. with that extreme cold. With how fast the temperature drops, right? And it's just, like you said, it's always looming in the horizon. You just keep waiting for night. Mañana. Keep those hopes up, man. You have to. It's so important in these situations to mm -hmm. not give up. No es tan optimista como Marcelo. Es un hombre sensato. Es un lugar donde vivir es imposible. Lo extraño acá somos nosotros. Yeah. yeah. It's so true. Day three. How many days were they stuck up there, man? I don't know. <laughs> the sound design is incredible. ¿Qué pasó? Chocamos contra la montaña. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 
Nee, Ernst. Noch nicht, aber noch. Du machst mal Mutti und Ende. Nos vemos el lunes. Muy amigas. Confía. Shit, man. No vieron. Shit, man. How do you answer that? What a scene. Holy shit. It's like the worst news to give a friend of yours. Smart, oh, man. These kids are smart. Get some water. I like how they're showing us that they are competent, right? Yes. Explains how they were able to stay there for so long. So we get what, like oh. a flight? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's smart with the... Oh yeah? He's saying that the wings rocked. Yeah. I hope so. Oh man, these harsh cuts. It's oh, it just really drives the point home of how exposed they are. Yeah. Is that another plane? Yeah, sounds like it. Why is this so ominous? It's just passing them by. Hoy los escuchamos, pero no los vimos. Si nos siguen buscando, es que no nos vieron. Y una palabra de esto, a lo más chicos. Si se lo dicen, le van a hundir la moral. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta carry that hope, man, for everybody. Ya te va a venir. It's fucking tough, man. How do you keep, how do you stay positive, it's though? Like, constantly. Si yo llevo tres días sin comer y me estoy muriendo de hambre. Acá mucho peor. Yeah. Estamos con frío en la altura. Estamos right. consumiendo tres o cuatro veces más de calorías. Oh. Right, exactly. That's so true. Para mí, hay que subir a buscarlas allá donde chocamos y hacer funcionar la radio. They're gonna go oh. looking for the other part of the plane with no climbing gear. Oh, Holy wow. shit! To the bravery in this, I. These guys, <laughs> damn. That's the thing, right? It's good to keep up hope. But man, I don't know, like, it's such a horrible situation to be in, because, like, what direction do you go? It, it, it's all mountains. These guys are badass. Wow. No food, nothing, they're tired. And yeah. they're still climbing that. For them, you know, trying to give everybody yeah. a chance to get out of here. And the air is thin up there, too. Like, I can't imagine how tough that must be on the body. Like a hike like this in normal conditions is hard. Oh man, I don't want anybody to slide down or have an accident with no I gear. What? What did he see? What? No, no sé. It's hidden. No, is so it hidden by the slopes? Que pasen por encima nuestro, no van a... It is. They're gonna have to find another way to signal. Oh what now? my god, you gotta you're be kidding. kidding me! An avalanche? Shavan seis días sin comer. Six days? Anoche repartimos lo último que nos quedaba. Un paquete de galletitas. Ya no hay más. That's it, they ran out of food. Now there's even more urgency with that yeah. ice melting up there. <laughs> if things weren't bad already. Don't do that, man. Just let oh. it be. Yeah, just stop picking at it. Ow. What the hell? Oh, something was lodged in there. Was it? He's eating it? Yeah. Damn, that's mm. rough. Doing everything you can to survive. Que anoche se le acercó para decirle que si hace falta se come los cuerpos. Wow. Yeah. They really did this? I mean, in, in a situation like this, what else can you do? Yeah, that's the thing, right? You got to do whatever it takes. They need the, the calories, the proteins. I can't imagine having to make that choice. Oh my goodness. 
fuera de proteína, energía Mira. que necesitamos. ¿Sabes lo que es una locura, Marcelo? Seguir como está. Roberto. Roberto tiene razón, estamos hablando de vivir o morir, Marcelo. Yeah, honestly. El cuerpo se seca como una planta, se seca el cerebro. No puedes pensar, Marcelo. Yo estoy mirando negro. Yo también estoy. Oh, oh wow. Black. Es solo carne. Es gente que queremos, Arturo. ¿Y cómo se corta un cuerpo? ¿Y quién sería capaz de hacerlo? Student. Yo lo hago. Yo también. Yo no voy a comer. Nosotros no podemos hacer eso. It's a really rough decision to make, but. Yeah. Nosotros no podemos ir, a agarrar y usar un cuerpo sin su consentimiento. Tengo que comer, no. no tenemos ese derecho. <sighs> so morality and consent. Both sides, like I, I understand the point because you want to hold on to that piece of your humanity, right? You don't. It's a hard thing to come back from. Also, out of respect, if they do get rescued, you want to be able to yeah. bring the bodies back. You know those people. Yeah. That were lost. Yes, of course. How do you just look at those family members and say, "Yeah, we had to eat them." It's a tough call to make. I can understand emotionally, physically. Of course, yeah, because like. But if you look at it from a purely scientific point of view, like, yeah, you have to survive. Yeah. You need the calories. You need to you keep need on protein, going, you or else to, yeah. you're just gonna die. The cinematography is fantastic too. The way they're Incredible. framing things, they keep making you feel like you're next to them, like you're mm -hmm. one of them. Oh man. No. 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 Susi. Susi, respira. Susana. Susana, por favor. No, no. Gustavo, ayúdame, por favor. Por favor. ¿Qué pasa? Está respirando, no sé qué le pasa. Para las piernas para allá. Dame la cara. Damn, man. He's been next to her for yeah. days trying to keep her warm. Coco Nicolich le escribe una carta a sus padres. Estamos todos muy bien. Somos en el momento 27 los vivos. 27 survivors, man. Y constantemente le pido a Dios que por lo menos me deje verlos un día más. This guy lost everything, man. Yo no me voy a quedar acá. I understand. I understand. Mírame, Poncho, mírame, respira. Every single night is a fucking nightmare, man. It's just non-stop. It's not just the lack of food. It's it's your surroundings too, right? It's it's the the weather. It's the possibility of an avalanche. Y muero les doy permiso para alimentarse de mi cuerpo. Wow. Yeah, I would I would say the same. If I'm dead, I don't care. Like. Yo di mi consentimiento también. Wow. It's good they're verbalizing it though, they're communicating that, yeah, yeah. they understand. Yeah. They're starting to get the, get the food out there. <laughs> yeah, essentially. I'm not too knowledgeable about this, but like, I'm assuming that the cold will help Preserve. slow down, yeah, the decomposition. <laughs> Because you can still get a lot of infections and other things, like you can get sick, so it's still not ideal. Well, it's the lesser of two evils, right? Yeah. You gotta keep yourself alive. Yes. As long as you can make it to a hospital, they can try to fix you, you know? Exactly. And if you don't make it at all, then that's, you can't go back from there. Yeah, like if you can buy yourself one more day, that that's how you would think, right? Just one more day. They're apologizing, man. You know they don't. Yeah. They don't want to fucking do it, man. They no. don't want to, but they have to. Oh man, yeah. I can't imagine nine days, yeah. ten days without eating. Fuck, man. These movies make you feel so grateful for the shit that you have. You know, yeah. like we take so many things for granted, but food, roof, it's warmth. So, yeah. Score is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Los primos Strauch se encargan del trabajo más doloroso. El que nadie quiere hacer. Yeah. The mental strength you have to have. Apartado de la mirada del reto. You need those people too, right? The ones that are going to do the dirty work. Más arriba, Coco. Más arriba. 
I'm so glad these guys were smart, man. Yeah. They knew how to do all this stuff. I'm hesitant to call it lucky, but you know, you have a med student, you have someone who's savvy with this stuff. Tienes que comer, mamá. No. No está bien, Pancho. What the hell what? happened? What the fuck? What now? Acaba de finalizar la búsqueda del avión de Washington y entrado en los Andes con un grupo de activistas de los cristianos. Oh my goodness. They ended the search. La búsqueda se reiniciará a comienzos del año próximo cuando el deshielo permita mejor visibilidad. Oh my god. El Servicio Aéreo de Rescate de Chile informó que en 34 accidentes aéreos ocurridos en los Andes jamás hubo sobrevivientes. Wow. They're, they already assume they're just all dead. Yeah. This, this is what will break you. Imagine the feeling of abandonment, right? The rage, the fear. Les pedí que esperaran el rescate para nada. Pero si puedo pedirles algo más, les pido que coman. <laughs> oh, man. Right at this point, whatever means yeah. necessary, just stay alive. But now, what is the plan? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know. Hay que encontrar las baterías para hacer funcionar la radio. Yeah. That damn radio, they need to send an SOS yeah. signal out there. Because <sighs> then things can mobilize again, you know? People will start, resume the search, and it will be more urgent now that they know they're still alive yes, out there. Yes, that they're out there somewhere. And it's deep snow. My God. It's like what they meant with the food. How do you even mm -hmm. find it if it's going to be covered already in snow? Mm -hmm. <sighs> These flashbacks, man, they, they really break you. Just seeing them alive and happy and so full of life. Yeah. What a shot, my <sighs> God. It's so beautiful and so Terrifying. imposing yeah. at the same time. Sigamos un poco más. It's a risk you're taking, man. Oh, oh. Dude. oh. Can they make some gear out of what they have so they can climb easier? Apenas podemos avanzar y la noche nos atrapa. Oh no, guys. No, 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 vamos a confiar. Jeez. That's like worst case scenario. That harsh cut was so incredibly pleased with the sound design. No they way. They survived? They survived that, dude? Wow. Oh my god. Hopefully the sun can warm them up a little yeah. bit. Oh, that's smart. Good job. They must be exhausted after that. I can't even imagine, man. Que vienen arriba. Solo hay montañas con nieve. Y hacia el oeste, se llegaba a ver algo detrás de esa pared de hielo. No. You're trying to find something, yeah, anything. Some sense of direction, anything. Ahí detrás está Chile. Pero tenés que comer nomás. Si no, no vas a llegar a Chile. He's gonna do it. Yeah. He fought it off as hard as he could. Yeah, I don't think nobody's judging any of these people. No. I mean, come on. Especially after they did this whole hike, having that bravery to go all the way out there. I mean, all of them, the people that are cutting up the bodies to get yes, food and the people yes. that are going out and trying to find anything they can. Yeah. Por primera vez pienso en la posibilidad de no volver a casa, pero miro a Nando y siento esperanza. Entrena cada día con una obsesión. Wow. Wow, that guy is strong, man. He's training. They're all doing whatever they can yeah. in their own way to figure out a solution. It's gonna go with him. 17 days. Five days with a storm. Aunque estamos en este avión muertos de frío, qué afortunado es Coco tener sus pies acá conmigo. Es good to see some levity and to see them with some spirit still. Yeah. En, en esta heladísima montaña no camina ni media araña. <laughs> de la ladera fría. He tried. Yay, I mean, come on. There you go. Vamos, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I would suck at the whole rhyming thing. <laughs> I would suck at the rhyming thing as well. So, <laughs> I feel that. Oh no, you don't do this kidding. to me. What now? I knew it. I knew it was too good. Every time they give us some levity. <gasps> oh! oh my god! Oh no. Is that an avalanche? Is that the ice that we saw before? Ah. Man, it's like nature's taken everything yeah. from them. What a nightmare, man. Fuck, dude. They have nowhere to stay now. Completely buried in the snow. Yeah. I just saying, hold on, hold on. The handheld feel and the frame rate choice in this is masterful. Come oh, on, guys, man. come on. Dude, the crackling sounds, it's freaking me out. I feel like... <laughs> Gotta get her out, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. <sighs> come on, please. <laughs> so much loss, man. What now? What now? Oh my god, please no more. <laughs> Not oh. another one. You gotta be kidding me. It's like one thing after another and it just keeps getting worse. This is like a joke at this point, like... Okay. okay. Doing a head count? Yeah. Enrique Juan Carlos también está muerto. Oh my god. Marcelo! 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 Oh no. Man, they lost like another half right there. At least. How does this not break your spirit, you know? He was trapped. Where is he? He froze. 17 days of this time. When we talk about the sound design, man, it really Dude, puts you. It's so good. Today is 30 of October. Today is my birthday. Today is very difficult to think in the house. Of course. Thinking yeah. about your family and friends and everybody that's there for your birthday. And you're so far from home. And in these conditions. The sound design, man, it has weight to it. It, It's really impactful. Yeah, and there's a lot of detail there as well. Like every single crackle, the snow being stepped on. The layering little of Little crunches it. and everything. But also the booming bass of when the avalanche was hitting them. It's done really, really well. Yeah, so right there. They don't have the space to hide it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. At this Honestly, point. you've come so far. Like if I reach that point, almost 20 days, I'm doing everything I can. Yeah. To make it worth it. Because you already what beat a the nightmare. odds. Yeah, you already beat the odds. Making it 20 days out there, like every more day that you can survive is still mm. a chance. We are good. Yeah. But that thing is isolating them from the wind, no? Oh, oh no. Dude. Anuma. Please don't tell me it's a bad injury. Come on, 
one, man. I know that people get desperate, but you can't be doing stuff like that, man. Four days buried. The resilience of these people, man. They are freaking superhuman. The stuff that they're doing to stay mm -hmm. alive. The fact that this is a true story that they did this yeah. is and insane. The and the fact that they didn't turn against each other. Because that's, it could happen, you know? Oh my god, no okay. More storm. Oh, All right. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully that whole thing is isolating them from the cold more than if they were out. So oh. maybe it was a blessing in disguise, even though they were buried. That's a good point. It's it warmer than the glue, right? Yeah, exactly. You guys did it. Man. <sighs> gotta, I don't know how the hell, but y'all did it. You got to savor those victories, man. Those small victories that give you a little bit more of hope yeah. to keep going. <laughs> Oh, this is so nice to see them. Yeah. Their drive and their spirit is phenomenal. They're <sighs> not giving up. Oh. Uh. Okay, it's not, I mean, it's not great, but it's not too bad. It's a short cut, just no don't lose faith. I have more faith than I have in my life. Now that you're a human being. Yeah, I'm sure an experience like that would recontextualize your entire mm -hmm. life and your existence. I believe in another God. I believe en el dios que tiene nando en las piernas para salir a caminar sin condiciones. Yeah. Yeah, man. Creo en la mano de Daniel cuando corta la carne y Fito cuando la reparte, sin decirnos a qué amigo perteneció. Yeah. That's strength, right? Yeah, that's a different kind of burden. Creo en Roberto, en Nando, en Daniel, en Fito y en los amigos muertos. Wow. What an amazing performance. Sos un filósofo, Artur. <laughs> Buena guilla de filósofo. <laughs> it was a beautiful monologue. I understand though, right? It's, it's, it's having faith in your friends and everyone around you, seeing the strength in them, the resilience. That's everybody, what gives you hope. And everybody's taking on a different responsibility and they're doing so well. Yeah. They're giving it their all. <laughs> I don't know what's going tranquilo, on. Tranquilo, Artur. Subamosle la ropa despacio. Oh it's no. Getting worse. Oh. oh. Those are sores. Pero vos tenés las mejores piernas del equipo. Tenés que caminar por los demás. Mm. Mm. There's nothing they can do. Oh, he was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Uh -huh. Even that takes a whole new meaning, right? Taking one yeah. for the team. Wow. Incredible writing. What's happening with him? Arturo Nogueira tiene los pulmones encharcados. Oh no. Oh no. Damn, the toll this takes on everybody yeah. every single time. Every single loss, it's it's an impact, you know? Yeah. It's an impact to the morale, it's an impact to how you're, you continue. You're very right though, it's I can then Yeah, they're they're leaving. It's all or nothing now. Yeah. How do you even know if you're going in the right direction? That's the thing. Honestly, that's a really good point, because even if they do know, snow will disorient you, especially when right. the sun hits. There's uh -huh. like a multitude of artifacts and weird shit that happens yeah. with snow how you perceive. Yeah, snow blindness and other things that can really mess with your head. Ah, oh, it's your leg, isn't it? Don't tell me. Oh, shit. It's getting an infection. Uma! Oh. Please tell me he's just tired and not... Oh, no. oh man. It's getting purple and black. Yeah, it's infected. Me vuelvo solo. El avión está acá nomás. I don't know, man. Shit. Dude. You tried. No, what do you mean, don't. sorry? You still walked up there with a... Do not apologize. With an injury like that. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's endless, man. Like, how do you not succumb to the despair when you look at how much of nothingness is out there, right? Y ahora con la pierna así. Soy un inútil. That's not true or fair to yourself. 
Durante la luz, sepultado bajo la nieve, yo sentía su cuerpo reposando bajo el mío. Es que no había manera de sacarla si yo no salía primero. <risa> It's just so messed up. Y me di cuenta que tenía una misión, que era tomar ese amor que estaba apretando ahí contra mi pecho y llevárselo de vuelta a mis hijos. Yeah. yeah, that's what you have to hold on for. Esa herida no te hace un inútil. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Some beautiful monologues in this. It's like some of these moments hit you so hard. Oh, I'm a mess. I've been a mess the entire freaking movie, man. Me dijeron que estás hecho un vago. Is he actually back or is he hallucinating from the infection? No le íbamos a encontrar nunca. Se catapultó para adelante. What? They found the tail? Estaba todo lleno de valijas desperdigadas, abrigos limpios. Chocolate. Chocolate, I mean. Yeah, I mean, wow. Pero encontramos las baterías del avión. Worth it. Oh, okay. Worth it. Ojalá pudieras con ellos. Oh, man. They know, man. You did everything in your power when you, when you could. But I can also imagine the frustration, right? Of being benched, essentially, because of your injury. And you can't go with them, even though you want to. Oh, shit. No way. Hola. They got a signal. I heard the crackle from the radio. Somos los uruguayos que caímos en los Andes. Hola. Hola. It has to work. It would break my heart if they It's can't communicate. Cada día que pasa, perdemos un poquito más de vida. Lo que al principio parecía impensable, <laughs> se convirtió en habitual. Yeah, it's crazy how you can yeah. see that transition happen until they become, you know, they go into full survival mode. Yeah, you learn. Tienes que comer, Numa. No te rindas ahora. No me estoy rindiendo, Pancho. Me estoy muriendo. Man, the infection is taking a hold of him. Quiero volver a ver a mis hermanos. Quiero ver a mi madre, ver a mi padre. Quiero bailar. Vos nunca bailas. Pero sí. <laughs> Quiero llorar. Y llora. No puedo. Llora. Llora conmigo. Y te reí. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let it all out, man. Dale, bobo. Dale. He's such a good friend, man. Yeah. I love their friendship. <sighs> wow. They've nailed such an incredible balance between, you know, the emotional human moments, the conflict, but then also snapping back into the survival moments, right? Uh. Oh, oh! <laughs> Did they just fry the battery? What just happened? Or the radio? Encontramos esta tela. Mejor hagamos un sobre de dormir. Con un sobre podemos soportar la noche. Oh, that's smart. Okay. So what's the plan now? Just towering over them. Almost like it's gonna collapse on them, right? I love how they gave the mountains so much character. Yeah. You know, they feel like the real villain in a story. <laughs> like they are the biggest challenge yeah. here. Mirme acá para una fotito. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wonder if these photos are real, like if there's... Right. Like the real life equivalent? Nando, quiero que sepas que tenés mi permiso para usar mi cuerpo. No, oh, man. Don't give up now. Y sé que yo no voy a volver. Y me pone muy feliz saber que ustedes sí lo van a lograr. Eso me pone contento, Nando. <laughs> you can see that he means it too. He... Yeah. He just wants them to survive for all of this to mean something. All of this loss, the struggle, the fight, to not be in vain. You see how much weight he's lost. Oh, no. No. Morí el 11 de diciembre de 1972, mientras dormía. At least he wasn't asleep. Man. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> this movie is... It's messing me up, man. Because, you know, you know, he really... He was really trying, man. Yeah. He really fought till the end. Yeah, he really did. <sighs> oh, man. 
Salimos mañana. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the push they needed, man. <laughs> Shit fucked me up, man. Shit. I didn't bring tissues, man. I should have brought tissues. Oh no. It's so messed up too, because like he was our protagonist, right? You don't expect your I protagonist was, to die. I was not expecting him to Fuck die. Fuck you guys for doing that. Yeah, he was a narrator, right? I was not yeah. expecting him to yeah. not be alive. Mucha suerte. Suerte. Vamos, eh. Miren a los dos lados antes de cruzar y Oh, thank you. I needed a laugh. Wow, man, this movie's incredible. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is what filmmaking is all about, man. Yes, it really is. They were truly abandoned. This yeah. is all them. Yeah. Everything that they've accomplished is yeah. it's them. It's their resourcefulness, their resilience. What? Wow. I'm scared. What a view though. Oh, nature is so terrifying sometimes. Like beautiful, but man. Where do you go Where from here? Like Where the hell do you go from here? Yo no voy a volver. Los Andes se tienen que terminar en algún momento. La nieve se tiene que terminar. Yeah. Yeah. Venía a caminar conmigo o esperar en el avión. Shit, man. <laughs> ¿Lo ves? Ahí está Chile. Lo veo. His strength is so admirable. After all of that, all of his loss, right? Yeah. And then the entirety of the suffering. Los muchachos están bien, están perfectos. Tienen comida como para 10 días. Nada los va a parar. I cannot believe this happened, man. Mind you, these guys are not professional climbers, right? Exactly. <laughs> People train for this. Yes. For years. <laughs> like for years before they attempt a thing like this. This is insane. I get it though, man. It's like you're this, it's like it's, you're this close, right? You just need luck to turn at just the right moment. For it to be on your side? Yeah. For a little bit? Oh, yeah, that's okay. a valley. Okay. At least they got through the worst of it when it comes to like elevation change and you know steep climbs in the valley they can just uh. Oh they were using their the sports shoes. Yeah, makes sense, right? It'll yeah. have good grip. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, it's going bad. Oh, it's getting warmer, right? Decomposition's going to happen faster. You don't have the freezing cold to keep it Fresh, quote unquote. Yeah. Roberto. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's like a good steak <laughs> at this point. <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God! Rescue service. Cuando nos van a buscar arriba. Cuando nos van a buscar arriba. Por favor, no podemos ni caminar. No podemos ni caminar. Wow. Wow. You guys gotta. Let's go. Come on. Gotta get go them help. out of there. <laughs> wow. Oh. After all that walk, man. Mm. Like this gave me an appetite, just knowing how much they've had to starve over the last two months, right? Man, they deserve it. You guys deserve the warmth of food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the news? All the news, yeah. Spread the word out. Yeah. Interrumpimos, amigos oyentes, este programa para ampliar la información porque ya se conoce la identidad de los dos jóvenes sobrevivientes. They made it, yeah. <sighs> That news is gonna be such a relief for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they gotta share. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, making sure they look presentable. Yeah. ¿Qué hacemos con todo esto? What do you even do, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, they're bringing the family. Little tokens, right? Yeah. That's very yeah. thoughtful of them. Yeah, they couldn't bring the bodies back, but they can bring yeah. something to remember them by. Fernando Parrado, Javier Metol. Carlitos Miguel Paez, mi hijo. Oh, wow. Oh. Roberto Francois. That's the helicopter blades. <laughs> yeah, right? Adolfo Strauch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so happy they held on. Uh. Holy shit, dude. Unbelievable. I was really scared. I was like, I really need them to survive. <laughs> you know, after all this shit. <sighs> Wow. Hey, man. You know, it's weird. Dude. I feel this sense of, like, I'm so proud of them. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I never, like, obviously we don't know these people, yeah. but I'm just so proud of all the things they were able to do to survive. Yeah. And how resourceful they were. Yeah. How they held on to each other and pushed each other to get through it, you know? <laughs> it's a go. suitcase, come on. <laughs> I think he that's where he put all the belongings. That's yeah. why he's he really so wants to bring something. Protective of it. To all these families. Mm. Imagine the feeling. <sighs> the relief. But also like the shock, right? Once you're fine, it's gonna be like, wow, did that really two months, man. Two months. Hoy mi voz suena con sus palabras. Cuenta que todo fuimos fundamentales. <laughs> I have no more tears in me, so I can't cry anymore. <laughs> wow. I'm just so happy. He got to his mama. Yeah. El recibimiento es sobrecogedor. Yeah. Imagine. ¿Qué hace acá esta multitud? ¿Qué le pasó en la montaña? Such a contrast. Yeah. Les asustan sus ropas sucias. Sus cuerpos esqueléticos quemados por el sol. Yeah. Oh. oh. La mugre de sus pieles. Oh. Yeah, nice shower. Imagine also feeling the heat from that water for the first time. Feeling clean. Yeah. After all that time. Los periódicos hablan de los héroes de los Andes, los que regresaron de la muerte para reencontrarse con sus padres. Pareces un viejito. Y sus hijos. Oh, I'm so glad you made it, man. No. Oh. Pero ellos no se sienten héroes porque estuvieron muertos como nosotros y solo ellos regresaron. How do you process all this once the fight is over? Right. How do you get back to living your normal life? You you can't. I, uh, I don't think there's any going back, right? There's no... You have to create a different kind of normal because you're different now. Se preguntan por qué no volvimos juntos. Yeah. ¿Qué sentido tiene? Denle ustedes el sentido. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta give it your meaning, man. Sigan cuidándose unos a otros y cuéntenle a todos lo que hicimos en la montaña. Wow. Man, what a beautiful film. Jesus. <sighs> wow. Yeah, wow. they were real photos. They were able to recreate it so well. Oh, Michael, Michael Giacchino, Giacchino, of, of course. course. <laughs> yes. He always has this sentimentality yeah, that he... just tugs at your heartstrings, man. <laughs> just hits you right in the going. <laughs> no wonder hurts. the music was incredible in this. Yeah. We love Michael Giacchino. Love. This is his strength, I think. Like making yeah. this emotional and, you know, kind of music yeah. and give it that sentimentality. Yeah, the makeup artist, too. I wonder what they went on to do after this, right? What was their life like after that? Yeah. Oof. <sighs> that okay. was a tough watch, man. Yeah. Again, a very impactful film. 
a very beautiful film. I, yeah. I love the message, you know, about love and what that really means and, and giving things meaning when all meaning is lost, you know, and having hope and keep going, even though you keep getting these barriers, right? These limitations that just keep piling up and just keeps making the situation worse and <laughs> seem more impossible than they already were. I, I loved how they brought in that sense of, yeah, you know, we're, we're in this mess, but we're going to continue to fight yeah. every single time. We've got each other and we're going to help each other however we can and everybody's going to contribute. And this happened, man. It's insane to, to see, I know. you know, it's not a story. It's more of a retelling of something that actually happened. And it's yeah. it's insane to wrap your brain around that. It's hard to really grasp the entirety of it, right? Yeah. It's, it's surviving the two months and then you survive those two months, but you're still not done yet, right? There's still your road to recovery, whether it's uh, physically, emotionally mentally it's so hard to grasp is there even any moving on from this you know what i mean in a way i'm glad that they had each other to hold on to yeah during a situation like this i really really appreciate how respectful they were of them and their trials and tribulations and you know having to make the decisions that they've had to make how hard hard they fought, how they tried basically everything, right? And how resourceful they were, how they tried to do the best that they could with the resources that they had. It's admirable. It's it's mind-blowing. It really is. When you look at everything they did, it's like, you know, you put yourself in their shoes and, and you hope that you could stay sane the way they did. You know, you hope that you could stay as strong after losing everything, after losing two family members. And, you know, now you're contemplating if you're going to eat them. You know, just to survive like that's some heavy shit, man, they had to go through, you know, and it, it's it's really incredible to see how they were able to translate this into a film. Yeah. I can see now why you guys were all going nuts and <laughs> recommending it. This is a phenomenal movie. What a way to start the year. I think J.A. Bayona surpassed the level of talent that we expected from him after yeah. watching The Impossible. <laughs> This yes. one somehow, you know, not to compare, because again, I know these are true life events and this is not, right. you know, I'm talking about purely the filmmaking. I think he found his strength and he was able to laser focus all of his, his storytelling mm. and the way that he does it, his own character and the way that he likes to tell the stories. And this was just a perfect real life event to take and to mm -hmm. utilize it and to utilize all of his talent to really laser focus yeah. and, and really drive the message home. And I think he did it in such, like you said, in such a respectful way, such a beautiful way and very, in, in a very talented and skillful way and tasteful mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Everything from the, the, the plane crash sequence was directed in such an effective way. I mean, that is, I think, you know, anytime when we see a plane crash, it always, it, for me, it's just one of those things, you know, I, I do not like flying, but I'm like, you know, I just try to forget about it when I'm actually <laughs> in the plane and I just have a good time and just try to forget about it. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's just, ne it's never fun, <laughs> you know? No. This has to be one of the most horrific recreations of what a plane crash might look like or feel yeah. like and everything from the visual aspect of it to the sound design to the angles i was out of breath you know yeah. i was out of breath my heart was palpitating it was horrible it was really horrible i had like <laughs> almost like a mini panic attack here <laughs> that's just goes to show how effective this man is at visual storytelling and how to utilize every single tool you know at his disposal from the visual aspect the angles the editing the music the sound design the great mm -hmm. performances that carried this movie throughout i think the director was great like i said um not just with that sequence but with everything that came afterwards mm -hmm. the ups and downs the mm -hmm. transitions of how these characters come to terms with what they have to do, right? Because it's yeah. you know, like, you know, these are not decisions that you can make lightly. You really <laughs> have to think about them and it's not easy to choose to live sometimes and it's not easy yeah. to choose to do what it takes to stay alive. And I think this movie really was able to communicate that, you know, like yeah. the people that survive, they survive because of all of that work they put in. And I think this movie was able to say, uh, to, to give that message and make it very clear, right? It's not, it's not as easy as saying, <laughs> yeah, we survived it. You know, there's yeah. a lot that went, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that went into it. So I'm, I'm glad that we got to see everything and they didn't shy away from the struggles, yeah. the pain, but they also didn't shy away from those moments of humanity, of love, of, you know, embrace, of pushing, you know, to keep going. And I yeah. feel like that's the beauty of this film. You have to keep going. 
You know, yeah. you really do. Whatever you experience in life, you know, sometimes it gets rough. I doubt that it's going to get this rough, but <laughs> it gets rough, you know, and uh, it's always a good message to have. Like, you know, if these people could do it, if they could hold on, if they could push yeah. one more day, you got to look at yourself and say, hey, can I push one more day? The, the, the filmmaking, like the visual storytelling and the score have done such a great job carrying on that message, right? Obviously, like you get your dialogue and the more the more obvious tools in storytelling. But I feel like every single piece in this, whether it's the editing, the cinematography, the score, the sound design, uh, set design, costumes. Set design was amazing. It, like it, every single piece just kind of coalesced into this amazing piece whole there was not a single thing that stood out too much it was just all working in tandem that was a great choice because this didn't feel like you know someone being like okay let me just show everyone how good i am this was about telling the story telling a true story of all of these people and i feel like especially the choice of starting the story and maintaining most of the story through numa that broke me losing him felt like losing a friend that shit hurt man because it's his pov or his narration i always expected him to survive. come through you know to survive to be able to see you know all of his effort because this this yeah. guy put in so much freaking work and yeah. especially in the first half of the film yeah. he's there for everybody he showed up to for everyone and to see him in that position like you don't grasp the gravity of his injuries until the very end yeah and then once you just get the title card you know his name and the date it was yeah. like it just oh. shattered me yeah it broke like, me each one of their deaths was such an impact like all of the deaths mattered and they should and i feel like the movie did such a great job at giving that respect to everybody you know nobody's a secondary character here everybody right. mattered you know every single life mattered everyone did their own piece right it's like with the Strauch boys the the cousins right. that you know they would you know build a little mountain of snow and kind of hide what they were doing just to keep the others sane. Just to keep, just, yeah, just to, they would carry that burden so that the others didn't have to. It's such a an unthinkable thing. I was scared for a while because I was, most of the time in survival movies, whether it's a true story or not, a lot of times what you see is people kind of, the group fracturing, yeah. right? Or people going against each other. Right. And I was so scared that was going to happen because like the one thing that we always say when we watch movies like that is, is like, guys, this is not the time. This is not the time. Please put your shit aside. And I'm so glad that that didn't happen, that these people held on to each other so hard and they held on to life. Give these people like a shit ton of money, send them off to a nice island like Bora Bora or something and let them just enjoy life. You know what I mean? Like, don't ever make them do anything else that's hard ever again. Those two months that they've had to suffer, the things they've had to do it's like damn that's enough for a multiple lifetime. lifetimes yeah. yeah another thing i was really impressed with uh which we also mentioned in the uh, commentary is uh the sound design mm -hmm. like of the snow the creaking in the plane yeah the subtle bass that starts building as the avalanche is approaching this was freaking incredible this was a fantastic movie. I Holy agree. shit. Phenomenal movie. Masterfully done in a yeah. lot of the departments, if not all of them. Set design, costume design, cinematography, <laughs> you know, composer, <laughs> yeah. director, and all of the actors in this did a fantastic job. This yeah. one, I mean, shit, we just started the year, but what a way to start the year. It might, you know, it might be yeah. up there. I really enjoyed The Impossible, yeah. and now we're starting the year with this. I know. <laughs> um, phenomenal yeah. film, guys. Thank you so much for uh, recommending this. We <laughs> truly loved this movie. This is a, a great film yeah. we hope that you enjoy the reaction as much as you could yeah. through all the tears <laughs> and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya